Of course, it is inconceivable that if there were no elevator, surely there would not be tall skyscrapers soaring into the sky. Luckily there is an inventor of the elevator. The world knows the figure of Elijah Graves Otis as the figure behind this brilliant discovery. If not, it will be very inconvenient if you have to go back and forth from one floor to another, especially if you carry a lot of luggage. Elijah Graves Otis was born on August 3, 1811 in Vermont, United States. His father's name is Stephen Otis Jr. while her mother's name is Phoebe Glynn. He had two children named Charles Roland Otis and Norton Prentice Otis who were the result of his marriage to Susan A. Houghton in 1834. Unfortunately, Susan later died when Charles was only eight years old while his younger brother, Norton, was a toddler at the time. He then remarried to Elizabeth Otis. Elisha Otis's age was not long, only about 49 years, he died on April 8, 1861. However, the results of his discovery with his two children deserve an award. At first, Elisha Otis, who was only a worker in a bed factory, was confused about how to lift all the old debris that was at the top of the factory in an easier and more efficient way. At that time there was already a lifting platform, unfortunately the platform was often broken and easily damaged. For that reason, he and his two children, Charles and Norton, then built their own safety elevator. The elevator proved successful and not easily damaged. At that time, he and his two children did not think about patenting their invention in the form of a safety elevator to the authorities at that time. Not only making their own safety elevator, the Otis family also sells their products to several other companies. After they felt that the sale of beds was no longer as profitable as the sale of safety elevators, they finally chose to focus on selling elevators. Initially, Otis built an elevator company called Job Union Elevator which was later replaced in 1867 with Otis Brother and Company. Their promotional efforts by participating in the New York World Fair in 1854 turned out to provide quite high publicity. The elevator company owned by the Otis family then began to flood with orders since participating in the New York Fair in 1854. As if she didn't want to stop working, Elisha Otis continued to experiment to make the elevators made by her company even better. Otis may not have been the first to invent elevators, given that there were already lifting platforms at the time. However, his efforts to find a braking system in elevators make him deserve to be known as the inventor of the modern elevator.